Alrighty guys, good morning. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to the Mildura markets. It's going to be a bit of a day vlog. We're going to be trying a whole bunch of foods, fresh produce. Pretty much whatever we can get our hands on, I'm going to probably try it. Aren't we babe? Yep. You guys really want to know what the hardest thing about travelling Australia is so far? It's about wondering what you guys want to watch and how much we should be recording. Because like... We've been on the road now for over two weeks. But like, right now as we're settling in, there's only so much we're doing. And we don't know whether you want to watch everything, every day, what we're doing every day, setting up at new camps, cooking food, going out. Like we've been touring the whole of Mildura through the towns. This morning we go to the markets. Like we really don't know how much to record and how much people actually care or is are we better off just doing like what we're doing today where we actually have a set activity and recording that or are we better off just recording everything and turning the video into like a 15 20 minute long video of the what we've done that whole week or well, you guys will have to let us know in the comments what do you actually want to see because if you just want to see the the real raw stuff of like every day every week then we can do that Mildura is so much like Adelaide see where this is like the river Murray whereas in Adelaide that's the river Torrens and it just runs through the whole CBD have to find the place to park this 7.4 meter masterpiece. Busy. Where are we going to park this thing, mate? Wherever it says truck parking. <laughs> you know, it's actually really good to know that my van's not going to sink because this is pretty wet the rain last night look how soft all this is and we didn't even sink look not even a rut up the Volkswagen maybe a little bit <laughs> pony rides first thing Alicia spotted was the ponies <laughs> Look at the yeah. quality of those tomatoes. Mama's tomatoes. Yeah, they're the ones that I just said. Thanks very much. You're welcome. There you go. What I love about Mildura, it's just Italians everywhere, just keeping the tradition alive. My nonna's family is actually from here. So I already knew it was kind of an Italian town, but... 90% of this whole market's just old nonna and nonnals. Breads, fresh fruit and vegetables. Italian coffee. Oh. So this is an apple scroll from, what was it called? I don't, know, I don't really have a name, but I don't really like this food, but let's give it a go. <laughs> No, but no. It's not apple. Yeah, it is. No, no. Yes, it is. Mm. See, I can't do food like that. It's yummy. I hate 
I hate sugar and sweets and pastries and stuff. That's like just like a ball of sugar. Mm, she I loves like it. it, but I, I don't. Even this, this coffee, is a perfect ratio of um, coffee to sugar. Alicia likes to get one sugar, whereas I'd rather enjoy the actual flavour of the bean. And if this had any more sugar, then it would it would change the whole flavour when you wouldn't be able to taste the bean anymore. So this is honestly the perfect coffee. Mm, yeah, I don't like that. Apple scroll. It's tasty, but I don't like it. It doesn't do anything for me. At least it's preservative free. What do you got here now? Pizza scroll. Show me it. Mm. Oh, that actually looks nice. Tastes good. Oh, crunch of pineapple. Hello, puppy. Mm. I can't do bread, eh? Yeah, Ever okay. since going keto and carnivore, I don't like bread. Unless it's sourdough. This is preservative free, I hate the wheat, yeasty, rubbery taste. Time to get a big breakfast. Talk us through it. That is delicious. Cheesy, <laughs> pineapple, ham, soft, light. Beautiful. Preservative free. Can I grab a, is this where we order like the big breakfast? Yes, yeah. Order everything from here. Can I grab a big breakfast, please? How is it? Look at this. Fresh juice. Oh my God. <laughs> Fresh juice is next level. Go on. Thank you. Barbecue tomato. Yeah, just a little bit of tomato. That's on the side. Yeah. 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 Use the crossing, but we're jaywalking, so that's how we're doing it. Sorry. Oh, this juice. Oh, we're gonna go eat this breakfast by the water. Have a look at this. Target acquired. That was actually the best. So many traditional Italians around. Alicia always thinks I'm talking to her, but I'm talking to the camera. So if you ever hear someone talking back, you're not hearing things. It's just Alicia replying and then looking back and realizing I'm on the camera. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a destination. Oh. Right, Alicia's gonna show you what we got. Where should I put it back? I'm just take it out and put it back. All right, we got a nice, look at that. Look at that broccoli. Look at that, straight out of the $3 farm. $3 for that broccoli. Look Three at the bucks. Hammer. Little stem, big head. <laughs> That's what we like. <laughs> Beans, yum. We got capsicum from Nunna. Tomatoes from Look at Nuna. these tomatoes. Look at those tomatoes. Wait, where's the Guess sun? How much they were. Look at them in the sun. <laughs> that bag was $5. Do you Five know how much bucks. that would be at the shops? Ridiculous. Stop supporting big corporations. Two little cos lettuces. Five bucks. Oops, I dropped some. Five bucks. 
yummy. I think that's it. <laughs> All up, it was about $16, I think. 16 bucks. Something like that. That's Perfect. for that bag that's of fresh produce. So that's for the week. We'll incorporate that into our meats and eggs. So and this was, was $80, was it? So we 80? went to Mally, Mally Meats yesterday, got all our meats. Farmer's $80? Market to get all this today. That was $17, this was $3, that was $6. I didn't realize the oat milk. scroll and the apple cake were $2.50 each. We probably spent like 40 bucks. A and nice like, day what out. a morning. Right, this is organic oranges straight out of the farm in Mildura. You won't you taste the difference. Even compared to nippies. Mmm, that's yummy. Fresh. It legit tastes like you grab it's the oranges. It's not too sweet either. It tastes like you grab the oranges straight off the tree, mm. squeeze them. Oh my god. That's something else. So I wonder why they can't just sell this in stores. Like why do they have to alter it? Because it needs preservatives so it lasts. Is that what preservatives do? Yes. And it needs extra sugar because people like sweet. Oh. Oh, so you reckon this would go off? Probably. All right. Time to, time to eat. Look at this. We've got a chili relish, tomato and onion relish, zucchini, onion, mushrooms, sausages, sourdough, avocado, eggs. Oh my god. Right. 17 bucks. It's called the farmer's plate. Which is insane because when have you ever seen zucchinis? Sausages onion mushrooms eggs tomato two relishes and potatoes on a plate together look at that zucchini yum oh my god i've never had zucchini by itself that's the that's a, yes, that's absolutely fantastic no i haven't well, mum will say otherwise my mum and your mum. Mmm, it's like a watery, soggy cucumber. <laughs> Sauerkraut. Oh no, that was onion. Right, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm big on my chili. Not nice chili relish. Chili relish. Capskin and chili. Oh. Oh. Yatsi. Yatsi. <laughs> that is insane. It's like tomato. It's like a tomato. You can taste more tomato than chili. It's almost like somehow they transgenderified a tomato into a chili. Oh. <laughs> that is amazing. And that fits really well in with our world right now. Like you never know what you're going to get. It could oh be a he, she, they. That's a training right there. Right. Baked potato. Oh my God. Wait, hang on a minute. Babe, try this. Tell me that's not what we, tell me that's not what we put through the machine to make our pasta with Nunna. Mm. That is exactly it. Boiled tomato. Oh my God. That's actually putting me in Nuna's backyard to doing the Gino Manuela, Gino Manuela. Gino Manuela. Hang on, we got the bacon. You gotta get the fattiest piece. If you have middle cut bacon or short cut bacon, I don't wanna know you. It's the fat or it's nothing. Do your research on animal fats. Don't worry about your margarines and your vegetable oils. We want animal fats. That fat, that not even this, will cut through it, all right? Just oh. pick it up with your fingers, mate. Right, I'm doing it. You want the fat? Mm. 
О. 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 Ай, бай. О, мой бог. That's really good. That's fresh as well, that avocado. Straight off the farmer's market. Right, next. Mushrooms. You all right? <laughs> Thanks. Mushrooms. Need more salt, but they're good. Sausage. Is that even a sausage? It has no taste. Onion is the best part. Oh. oh, sweet golden onion. Look at that. Oh, wow. Everything's really good. Oh, egg. I don't know, what do you call that? Overcooked. <laughs> Needs relish. Mmm, that's better. Mmm. Yeah, they're good too. But they're overcooked. Everything's good. Don't really like the, like, don't really eat bread, so at least you'll be the judge of that. Sausage is not even a sausage. I don't know what that is. It's no, there's nothing in that. Babe, try this. Tell me you taste the flavour. I've almost, I've never had something so flavourless. Is that nothing? Yeah, it's nothing. That's anyway, it's the texture that counts. That's what she said. All right, that's it. Yatsi. <coughs> that's all. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Egg all up in my tummy. Let me get some of that, mate. I'm coming in now. You be careful, boys. I'm coming through the back. Give me a taste of that yolk. Alright, that's the market's done, food done, parked in the sun, so let's have a look at our uh, electrical system and see where we are. Right, I do the mail thing, every time we get back to the van, I do, you know, every traveller knows what it's like, checking all the electricals and solar and what watts we're bringing in and how the batteries are, so come and have a look. So we got this M1 Renaging system, right now we're bringing in 488 watts, but I don't think it's refreshed. Yeah, so that's what we're bringing in. We must be under the sun. Yep, run on the sun, right? So we're charging to the max. The only issue is, this isn't compatible with the battery shunt yet. So then what we do is we pull out my gadget, we turn my Bluetooth on, we go into here, and we're already at 95.6% charge on the batteries. So, and it's 11 o'clock. So that'll be charged in the next three hours, it'll slowly trickle charge. That's still coming off the starter. So my battery is a brand new battery in, this, in the actual van. So it actually pulls some amps out of that, chucks it onto here. So we're actually charging right now at three amps trickle charging because the battery's already full by the looks of it. Yeah, so we're on bulk mode. And that keeps me very happy I love it. It's my thing all day. I'm like, babe, look at the charge. Look at the charge. This is amazing. The only thing, I'm not too good with electrical. So, like, I don't understand why the alternator is still showing charge. Apparently, it cuts out once the starter battery hits 12.7. And so, this is showing us 30, 28 amps. House battery charging amps is at 36. But then the shunt's showing me we only got... 
2.78 amps of charge, which makes me think that the DC to DC isn't connected to the shunt and that only the solar is connected to the shunt. But either way, we're charging. We're at 95% and it's 11 a.m. So, I don't know. There's a few a few things need to be changed. Like I said in that first video, the guy who um, done all our electrical system, whew, don't, I'm not even gonna shout him out again because it's not the right thing to do, but shocking, absolutely shocking. And uh, burnt the bridge, so now I can't even message someone for advice on how he's done it. So what I really need to do is take the van back to someone else and have them look over everything and show me what to do because I don't even want to talk to that guy nor does he reply because he done some shocking shit and I called him out on it and it was easier for him to just disappear and not reply than it was to um, accept his wrongdoing and apologize so that's the way it is but everything's running perfect so I'm happy with that alrighty Veggie. chuck everything in the fridge <laughs> We got these from Nippies. They're completely natural. Apple with some purified water, nothing else. No other stuff. We bought a whole box. I think it was, how much did it cost? $10 for a whole carton of 24 fruit boxes. Babe, what's the pros and cons of having your fridge freezer under a storage table? I don't mind it at all. It's probably like the only issue with this van. I don't like it. Like that is a big storage bench and the fridge is, the fridge freezer is underneath it. I wish it was like cut that in half and just your normal fridge right there where you can open the door. That way this can be your bench still, which we might do in the Look future. Yummy produce. Wouldn't be hard to do. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mildura is actually a fantastic place. You got, yesterday we went to like this harbour town type shopping central. You've got the main street, you've got like nightclubs, you've got like hotels, you've got houseboats, you've got the river, hundreds of petrol stations, hundreds of shops. It's just really good. I didn't expect it to be this big and city type. Look, they even got a clean away. <laughs> That's how you know you're in a capital, when you got to clean away. Okay, we're driving past the dump point. So we're quickly just going to pull over. Oh look, they're taking the forklift to go pick it up. <laughs> Something just fell off the back of someone's truck, like big time. Um, so, look at this. Mildura, RV friendly town. And my shower thing is still sitting here. I left our little shower thing here for someone to take. Oh no, someone took it. See, I knew someone would take it. So we just pull in here, empty the toilet. Smell very good. Yeah. And um... Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Probably fill up with some more potable water whilst we're here, because we may as well, because we're going on more free camps now. And if I'm honest with you, I'm probably going to quickly use that toilet before we empty it. <laughs> because whatever they gave me at the Mildura Markets is coming through my flux capacitor quick smart. Have a sip of that, babe, and give us a review. No, thanks. That's the end of the video. <laughs>